All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rechah Kurash, the bonds of the elders and the apostles of the great millstone, citation to Allah, I can put the word true charity with charity. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, whom the word and he calls God and Jehovah Bahasham is in the name. Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten son, who the word and he calls Jesus, and Rechah Kurash is the Holy Spirit. As always, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans are Israelites according to the Holy Scriptures, as well as the speckled bird, the scattered Israelite foreigner, scattered amongst other nations, whose outer appearance may seem to be of those nations to whom they've been scattered to, but whose lineage through their fathers long about to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, your Israelites, no matter what outer appearance may seem to be. And as always, I'm about to die from the Great Mistone Branch back out here in Chicago, and I'm uh, going to go into a quick lesson today. It's going to be entitled, Can We Sin? And then we're going to answer that question scripturally. This is 1 John 2 and verse 1. My little children, these things write I unto you, that ye sin not. And what is sin? Sin is transgression of the law. So anything that's written within the law, statutes, and commandments, if you break it, that's when sin comes. And as it says in the book of Romans, when sin comes, then come death. Roughly paraphrasing. It says, and if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Yahweh shall Mashiach the righteous. So, hey, God knows we in these, uh, these, these vile bodies, so we're going to go off. But we're not intentionally supposed to uh, uh, go off, you know, have a malicious heart, you know. It says, verse 2, and he is the propitiation for our sins and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. And that's talking about the nation of Israel. Uh, that's cosmos right there. It says, verse 3, and hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. So if you know the Lord, you claim to serve the Lord, you have to walk a certain way. You have to have that faith in him ultimately, but hey, that faith is perfected by works. It says, verse four, he that say, if I know him and keep of not his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. So if you say, you know, the Lord, but you don't do what he says and hey, you're denying him. It says, but whosoever keepeth his word in him, verily is the love of the most high perfected. Hereby know we that we are in him. He that say, if he abided for him, ought ought himself also so to walk even as he walked and it said that he was a in sample uh he was that he's the in sample you know in that first peter i believe it says who did no sin you see so we we have to walk uh as best as we can to be a a, a, a clean you know upright this is Ephesians 4 and 17. This I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord, that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk in a vanity of their mind, having their understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of the Most High through the ignorance that is within them because of the blindness of their hearts. So we're, uh, we're warned not to walk as other Gentiles walk, a, a being uh, blinded from the, uh, from, from the uh, I forget how it's worded, but uh, the godly things of the Heavenly Father, you know? It says, uh, ignorant of the divine things. It says, verse 19, it says, who being past filling have given themselves over to lasciviousness to work all uncleanliness with greediness. But ye have not so learned Hamashiach. If so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Yahushai, that he put off concerning the former conversation conduct, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. So hey, you learning and learning is truth, coming into the knowledge of his truth. You're supposed to kill off that old man, which in times past did all sorts of wicked things. You know, ate abominably, uh, may have did abominable things, worthy of death. Coming to the knowledge of what's right and what's wrong, you're supposed to put off those wrong works and, and try best to strive lawfully. It says, verse 23, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that you put on the new man, which is which after the Most High is created in righteousness and true holiness. So hey, hey, that new man is going to be created after the image of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, in righteousness uh, and, and holiness, separate, you know, sacred, consecrated. You see, this is Romans six and one. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Because yeah, yeah, the Lord has us under grace. We're not going to die, you know, according to the law. You know, we're not just going to get judged right then and there. But hey, hey, since that's the case, do can we just go and sin all out? God forbid, how shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? So the answer is no. Know ye not that so many of us were baptized into Yahweh Mashiach, were baptized into his death. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Hamashiach was raised up from the dead by the glory of the, of the Father, even so also should walk in newness. So we also shall walk in newness of life. So hey, once again, we have to be dead uh, to this world. We have to kill off that old man. And be renewed hey, by the washing of this word. 
It says, verse five, for we have been planted together in the likeliness of his death. We shall also in the likeliness of his resurrection, knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that we henceforth, that henceforth we should not serve sin. So coming to the knowledge of, the, of, of this truth, you're supposed to kill off that old man, you know. Hey, you, yeah, you're coming in as a babe. You're learning what's right and what's wrong. That's why you're supposed to read the read the role, you know, eat that role, you know. And ultimately, you're going to you're not going to be a reprobate anymore. You're not going to be void of judgment. You're going to know what's right and what's wrong. This is a uh, Hebrews 10 and 6, 26. It says, for if we sin willfully after we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remain of no more sacrifice for sins. Right. Because hey, we, we hey, if you know better, you do better. You see, hey, the Lord isn't going to keep on, you know, it's, it talks about Sirach, you know, basically touching a dead body and you go and wash yourself. You know, hey, 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 Lord, you're going to still be the foul, roughly paraphrase. You can't go. You can't continually be entangled with your sins. You know, it says verse 27, but a certain fearful look looking for of judgment and fiery indignation, which shall devour the adversaries. And that's a hey, to those that hey, hey, go back into the world that hey, hey, don't kill off that old man. You know, that came into this knowledge, a judgment is, is coming. It says, uh, verse 28, he that despised Moses' law died without mercy under two or three witnesses. Of how much more sore punishment suppose ye shall he be worth, be thought worthy, who have trotted underfoot the Son of Man and have counted the blood of the covenant, wherewith he was sanctified and unholy deen and have done despite unto the spirit of grace. So uh, for those that take this, uh, this grace period for granted, as it says in the book of Corinthians, you're you're uh, crucifying Yahweh Shai anew, afresh. You see, you're no longer going to be covered, man. So, hey, we, we cannot just go about just doing whatever we want. No, we're under grace, but hey, we still have to uh, walk as our Lord did, you know, abstaining from the pollutions of this world, hey, being sacred, you know. This is Sirach 71. Do no evil, so shall no harm come unto thee. Depart from the unjust, and iniquity shall turn away from thee. They so simple as that. They just do the right thing. Verse three, my son, sow not upon the sur the furrows of unrighteousness, and thou shalt not reap them sevenfold. So don't be out here just being unrighteous, man. You know, you think that just because you're an Israelite that you can break the law? No. If anything, hey, you gotta, hey, you dead, hey, you gotta be uh, outstanding, damn near. You know, of course we're gonna fall short, but hey, you're supposed to be hey, in them scriptures and learning how how to please the Lord. This is uh, Sirach 12 and 6 for the most high hate of sinners and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly and keep them against the mighty day of their punishment. And that's plain. You do a hey, you do what's wrong in the eyes of the Lord. You're going to be destroyed. Sirach 21 and 1. My son, has thou sinned? Do so no more. But as pardon for thy former sins. Exactly. What did the Lord say? He healed people and told them sin no more. He told the woman, go thy way, sin no more. You know, roughly paraphrasing, it says, verse 2, flee from sin as from the face of a serpent. For if thou comest too near it, it will bite thee. The teeth thereof are as the teeth of a lion slaying the souls of sin. It's like the souls of men. All iniquity is as a two-edged sword. The wounds thereof cannot be healed. So a iniquity doesn't profit you at all, that which is sin upon sin. Commend sin, a, 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 it hurts your, your outer man and your spirit, you know. Does Sirach 15 and 11 say not thou it is through the Lord that I fell away for thou oughtest not to do the things that he hated. And hey, the Lord gave us a, a book filled with things that he wants us to do and want us to not do. It says, verse 12, say not thou he have caused me to err for he have no need of the sinful man. Right. The Lord ain't dealing with you, uh, you know, with, with, with Christians, man. Hey, the Lord sternly rebukes him in the book of Isaiah. You see, it says uh, verse 13. The Lord hateth all abomination, and they that fear the Most High love it not. He himself made man from the beginning and left him in the hand of his counsel. Verse 15, and it said, he, it said uh, and they that, that fear the Most High love it not. So he's supposed to hate thou abomination vehemently. You see, that's righteous in the eyes of the Lord. It says, he himself made man from the beginning and left him in the hand of his counsel. If thou wilt to keep the commandments and to perform acceptable faithfulness, he have set fire and water before thee, stretch forth thy hand unto whether thou wilt. And a hey, hey, plain man, it says, verse 17, before man is life and death and whether him like shall be given him. So you can either do what's right and serve righteousness or do what's wrong and be a servant to sin and, and, and die, be destroyed. Verse 18, for the Lord, for the for the wisdom of the Lord is great 
and he is mighty in power and behold of all things and his eyes are upon them that fear him and he knoweth every work of man he have commanded no man to do wickedly neither have he given any man license to sin and that's today that's plain man the lord sees everything and he doesn't allow us to just do whatever the hell we want no Hebrews 12 and 1, wherefore sin, we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witness. Let us lay aside every weight and the, every, everything that, that, that weighs us down, man. That's not of this truth, man. And the sin which doth so easily beset us and let us run with patience the race that is before us, man. So strive to the best of your abilities, man. And cast out the burns of this world and don't let sin get in your path and beset you. Knock you off course. It says, looking unto Yahushai, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy of the cross, it's like it for the joy, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of the Most High. So, yes, as we proved in this lesson, can we sin? No, we have to walk. We have a we have to try our best a, to walk uprightly. You see, so your Lord willing, this is just a quick out of fine lesson called Halayim La. Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai Ba'asham, Howard Kha Kodash, the ones to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone. Citation to all the I can put his word with true charity with charity. Shalom, Brakatham, Wa Ababa Ball.